Okay, one second here. And uh, so I'll try to bring a short review on the issues around what has been going on in the, in the project so far. Um, let's go back to the development objectives of the project. This uh, will be a reminder, uh, context of uh, what we have in, in hands right now. So the first one would be the reduction of vulnerability of the Caribbean coastal ecosystems and their associated goods and services to the natural and anthropogenic origin hazards to improve that uh, in coastal, integrated coastal zone management. So this is a very wide and uh, I would say something wishable in terms of uh, everybody, but not easy to, to accomplish. And the second development objective would be the sustainable management of shared living marine resources in the Caribbean and North Brazil shelf large marine ecosystems, that is CLM E plus, and that uh, will make uh, the, what we could call the geographical context of uh, uh, an entire region, which of course uh, it's very ambi ambitious in terms of uh, the, the objectives, the pointed objectives of the project. But uh, also that's uh, part of why we are uh, pointing or aiming at having um, so different institutions and persons and of course the need of a perfect, at least close to perfect coordination so we can accomplish these objectives uh, at the end. We have some specific objectives. Um, first of uh, them would be to provide and operate uh, the information discovery decision support and monitoring and evaluation mechanisms to improve uh, integrated cost control management. And this, uh, I believe, uh, brings a little bit on the question that uh, we just had from, uh, from UK on the importance and the, uh, the feeling of uh, not only science, because I believe in science we don't have to convince everybody about the importance of data and information exchange and information management, but on the uh, really uh, use of these uh, data and tools and associated uh, information developments for decision makers, which is actually one of the great, great challenges here. It's to put the information in the language and the opportunity for stakeholders to make decisions uh, supporting themselves on, on, on the data that's being provided by science. And the second objective would be to provide and operate the mechanism itself, the decision support system and the monitoring and evaluation um, data developed in a way that it can be useful for, uh, as I was saying, the um, stakeholders in terms of uh, government, either uh, be in the administration or in the, what we call the control and uh, uh, the, the enforcement of uh, decisions, but also I would say the private sector, uh, common people, uh, so anybody who is interested in uh, the progress and the uh, development or sustainable development of our coastal areas and oceans. And the third would be to uh, provide people with information to be aware of the importance and the uh, capacity and the participation of uh, local, regional stakeholders in terms of the uh, aims of having um, uh, prosperity, but peace, prosperity, support in uh, what we, do, we can call the uh, sustainable development of, of, of the natural uh, goods that we have in our coastal and ocean um, around our islands and our uh, continents. So the expected results and the deliverables for uh, CMA2, um, we have a grouping in this. And uh, that will be the expected result one, the operational um, decision support uh, and uh, monitoring uh, system for ICM in 10 pilot countries. That's uh, the initial decision, uh, all of you who are here. But of course, this is just a pilot approximation to what we have at the end, what we want to have at the end. It's just uh, 10 countries giving examples of what to do. but that uh, can be useful for anybody or any country uh, within the region. Um, we would like to have a, possibly an online technological platform uh, in terms of the um, 
the general view of this platform in terms of a standard type of uh, tool. Uh, that means uh, 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 good quality data, uh, filtered data that can come into this platform, but also in uh, a language in terms of the results that can be useful to, to everybody. Um, the inventory of critical and uh, the main identified, prioritized data sets and information values that we might find uh, important for the, for the project. And the collection and repository of key priority data sets in terms of uh, we can uh, find them easily and available and in good quality and uh, to, to, to have these uh, repositories in which we can access and provide and get them uh, to be used for the, for the uh, main effort of uh, integrated coastal zone management. Uh, the second activity would be to create and enhance the awareness, capacity and participation of key national, regional or local stakeholders and that uh, it's in both ways, uh, either the ones that are providing the data and the information and the other ones that are using and making profit of this data in terms of the uh, integrated coastal zone management. We want to have a set of uh, instructions, a set of um, um, education materials that we can have around the region, uh, written and presented in a way that uh, they can be easily uh, shared and used uh, by everybody. Uh, we want to have a prototype of uh, the marine atlas and the status of the coastal zones in terms of indicators, something that we want to be very flexible, very updatable, easily updatable and accessible so we can have um, most what we can call, uh, let's say, almost um, online in real time information can put that in quotes, so it can be used for making uh, decisions or emergency decisions maybe sometimes. And three, the uh, lessons and uh, what we can call the um, uh, experiences and the learn that we have developed, or that we can develop from those experiences to be presented uh, for uh, use and hopefully not committing the same mistakes in, 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 in past. For year two, the expected results uh, two, uh, we want to have a functional uh, decision support and monitoring tool for improved um, uh, access to information in the management of living resources uh, within the region. Uh, that would be the definition of the online platform. The, um, sorry, I came back. And yeah, and uh, at the identification of the beneficiaries. Sorry, I came back with with slide. And uh, who will be the uh, main users of this uh, information? Or will be of course the national and pilot projects. They are involved in this uh, activity in terms of the countries that were um, defined to be the pilot countries. Not only them, but uh, also the advisors in the regional uh, in level of the uh, CLME plus region, that's the Caribbean and North uh, Shelf of uh, Brazil, the continental shelf of Brazil. Uh, the decision makers and managers linked to the governance bodies, uh, of course, those were the primary beneficiaries of these uh, um, tools, and the uh, institutions that will have uh, any responsibility in the management of coastal um, resources. And that could be in terms of the national the ministries, the um, units engaged with coastal zone management uh, at the local or regional level, and uh, also the international organizations that are involved in, in this project. We have um, suggested uh, what can we call the project governance uh, scheme. Here we have a steering group which is composed of uh, the um, institutions, uh, representatives of the institutions that uh, have been uh, moving the CME 
uh, activities within the region. That's um, IOC, IOD uh, Secretariat, uh, the ICAN, ICAM UNESCO programs of uh, IOC, and uh, our supporters from the government of uh, Flanders. Uh, we have uh, an executive team that will be actually responsible for the execution and uh, development of the project itself. So we are the close uh, partners engaged with the administration and the, uh, getting things uh, moved in the project. That will be composed of uh, what we have called the six work package uh, coordinators. That's according to the program that you have already. Uh, we have one liaison person from CLMA. Uh, as you've seen, this is a, an important partner that we have to uh, really go hand by hand. And uh, uh, Imbemar, who has been appointed as the project uh, coordinator. That's the executive team. And for that, we have the support of uh, our representatives on the, from the partner countries. There was only 10 uh, persons that will be representing the countries that have been chosen to be as pilot projects. One representative of the um, uh, regional organizations um, in the Caribbean and North Brazil continental shelf. And that will be the uh, structure of what we call the regional level. That's the focus of uh, which is here in the dotted lines. And um, uh, to make connection with the a complete group. We have a representative of the international organizations engaged with the, with the project. And then we have um, the national coordination groups, which is uh, um, uh, an important uh, part or key uh, element of this uh, scheme, uh, where we have the uh, national coordinator, uh, who will be responsible of uh, getting all the connection within each of the countries. And this is uh, very important because this is where we will be supporting actually the providing of uh, data, the providing of uh, the information, the coordination, and to raise the questions of the needs of information and the language of the information that we have to finally develop and design for the, for the system that will be at the end providing the, the results of the, of the project. So this is uh, a key element that we have to define and uh, one of the uh, tasks uh, in the very, very near future is to define how and how this person will be working and who this, will, this person will be uh, engaged with the, with the project. Let's go ahead with the revision of the projects uh, so far. Um, let's go to work Python crash uh, number one. That's the language that we use for the for the project, if, if, if you recall and remind how it is written in the, in the schedule and the project uh, layout that you have in, uh, from the information that was sent to everybody. Uh, so we have accomplished the nomination of the project coordination uh, that was done at the beginning of, uh, of the year. Uh, we've been asking to the um, designation of the national coordination co coordinators uh, we have some names. Uh, this uh, list is uh, uh, the, the list of the, uh, let's say, mm, named but not uh, officially approved in terms of the document that we wish to receive from each uh, of the countries. But at least these are the names that we have received. Uh, some of you are here uh, as representatives of these countries. We still lack some of the uh, other countries uh, to complete the 10 um, countries uh, list. So that's one thing that we had to uh, go ahead and try to get it uh, set up in, in, in the next days. Um, we have been organizing with the uh, actual uh, great effort of uh, uh, Peter and his team for this uh, workshop and have moved some dates and we have to uh, trying to arrange the agendas of everybody and the agendas of the city of Miami and the agendas of the money. Uh, but uh, uh, finally, we managed to get these, uh, these dates uh, all together. Um, I wish also to um, uh, say thanks to Peter for all his efforts. And 
so we can meet here today and um, we have to go uh, also um, in the definition of uh, work package coordinators that's something that we have to do here uh, this week this is very important since this will be the persons actually pushing the things over so it's it's going to be one of the um, things that we have to uh, really accomplish uh, in, in this week um, for this uh, um, project activities that we still have to go ahead will be to review the available technology in the region and try to define what will be the best platform in which we will be working so we can focus on that and begin to develop, to develop the, the tools and the results that we want for the for the projects. Um, we have uh, handed out uh, surveys trying to uh, see what information availability we have in the region, what platforms are working, what are the uh, software uh, that we have uh, experience in one of each uh, countries, what uh, are the hardware capabilities that we have. We handed out this uh, survey but we haven't got all the responses that we uh, wished and uh, we hope to have a small inventory of the results of the of the surveys that were sent uh, in, in these uh, days but this is something that we have to also ask uh, to the countries to uh, give a response and uh, on work package 3 we have to identify the institutions the organizations um, and everybody with key roles within the regions in terms of uh, the administration of uh, living marine resources so we can focus our activities uh, as a, let's say key stakeholders to provide or to go into the creation of uh, awareness this is something that we uh, just have a draft document that we have to um, refine and to get at the end of this uh, week and um, uh, second the identification of uh, functionality requirements which uh, can be done probably by the end of the week, taking into uh, account all the information that will be uh, moved together with all the um, things that we will get from the survey and the experience that we have from you here in, in, in Miami this, uh, during these days. And uh, we have uh, the uh, other work packages which will be developed in the near future. So for the moment now we will be, we'll be um, concentrated until uh, the work package number three. Uh, some of these uh, have to, the next ones have to su be supported on the results of what we get in the next months. So um, let's say that uh, we are almost in time. We have to um, strive to uh, recover part of the lost uh, days that we have at the beginning of the year. So this is a little bit worrying us, but not very, um, we think it's not very difficult to, to get in pace to, to be up to, uh, to the timeline that we have uh, uh, scheduled at the beginning of the project. Um, let's remind us uh, the expected results of this uh, meeting. This is uh, to give a context. Uh, we have to, uh, at the end, have a an updated progress uh, report and the preparation of activities so it's a revision of uh, actually our program of work uh, the revision of current activities in the region relevant to CMA2 that's something that we wish that we can get at the end of this week from the information that was asked uh, you to be presented in the surveys and the other than we can we can that we can get from from your experience we have to have a set of priority indicators. This is going to be a little bit tough because there's a lot of ideas here, but it's something that we must get because that's a key element to go into the development of the platforms. Uh, we have to identify it and uh, prioritize the data needs. That's also uh, something some, that it gets difficult. You have different per perspectives, but we have to, at the end, focus into uh, very key elements in, in terms of the needs of data. Uh, we have to construct a, 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 what we call a stakeholder map. It's a scheme where we can identify who are the stakeholders here in terms of the national responsibilities, the regional responsibilities, 
and also the local responsibilities. This is very important because we want to focus on the needs of local uh, communities and the ex uh, expectations of these communities in terms of the information they will be need. Uh, we need to uh, compromise everyone of you to appoint the national coordinators, as it was uh, mentioned. We have to define the platform, at least have a very, very good idea on the technological platform, platform that we'll be using for CMA2. Uh, we have to identify who will be contributing to the capacity development plans is in terms of uh, who is going to offer the opportunities of uh, sharing resources for education, for training, for uh, dissemination of uh, the tools that will be developed by CM2. We want to have uh, also the uh, appointment of uh, contributions for the communication and outreach plan. This is a little bit related of, on what I was uh, mentioned, but even further because we want to reach not on, uh, let's say, the, the key stakeholders, but also general community. Uh, the identification of um, the uh, members in case of management of uh, CMA2 uh, was also mentioned. The persons who will be uh, leading the uh, work packages that have been defined. We have seven work packages, so we have to uh, find who will be the persons that will be leading this these uh, packages and uh, at the end also to redefine a work plan accordingly with the new insights and the uh, small time lapses that we have lost and uh, of course what we want to have at the end in time in, in terms of time in terms of budget and in terms of resource so thank you very much and uh, well, still we can hold uh, one question if it's uh, uh, because i went a little bit further in time